holiday season is coming up and what a great way to give gift ideas, get ideas, then come out to the upcoming Artisan Bazaar. Joining me in studio is Carrie Root and Carrie is one of the organizers of this amazing event. Yes, thanks for having us. We're so happy to be here again this year. I think we were here for the last uh, show, which was in the spring, Easter weekend. So this year we have uh, two show dates, one November 17th coming up, just this coming Sunday. And the other is a sip and shop, so an evening event on Friday, December 13th. Fantastic, and as you can see, so many different uh, creative ideas, mm -hmm. homemade goods, local goods, and um, unique. Can you talk to us about what we see just sure. here alone? Yeah, just here. We just have a small sampling. We have over 60 vendors at each show, um, some overlapping and some new to each event. So you'd want to make sure you don't miss either date. And we have everything from um, small batch food stuffs to we have hand knit crochet, rug hooking, sewing, uh, painting of all different mediums, acrylic and watercolor and uh, oil as well. And we have jewelry, it just goes on and on. So in total you said there's around 60 vendors mm -hmm. and uh, how do you how do you choose who's going to be a part of the show? It's a pretty strict jurying process that we go through. It has to be handmade, has to be local. Um, it has to fit into a certain criteria as far as quality is concerned and availability. We're looking for things that are somewhat exclusive and you can't find just anywhere you might go. And we also um, look for unique, original ideas and if at the very most things can be made in small batches but no more mass produced than that. Talk to us about some of the artists. I know we have some amazing paintings here in studio. Mm -hmm. um, and talk to us a bit about the arts because it looks like they are originals right. as well. Right. The one that's showing right now is by uh, John Zidani, and he is one of our one of our golden guys who's been with us since the very beginning of this show. His work is done in oils, all original pieces beautiful. available at the show. Aren't they gorgeous? They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they're really, really beautiful pieces. And he does do commissions as well. So that's one of the great opportunities with going to these shows is you have the chance to speak and interact with the maker and maybe you put your heads together and you come up with something that's a little bit unique to just you mm -hmm. and uh, or you have different quantities that you want to fulfill or or whatever the case may be you have that chance to speak with the maker and a lot of people are looking for those um, intimate pictures or paintings of their homes, families, people of their past. So uh, what a great way to give back, especially for the holiday season to a family member. It really is. And great. shopping local, your dollar stays in the community much more than shopping big box. Big box is convenient right. for certain things, but you're not going to get the original, really special things that you can get at a handmade show like ours. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Again, the details are... November November 17th <laughs> on uh, Sunday, this coming Sunday, it's from 10 till 5, and then Friday, December 13th from 1 till 9. Great. Well, thank you again so Thanks. much. Make sure you check them out again coming up this weekend. And for us, thank you for joining us with the Halton News here tonight. And you can catch us more online at yourtv.tv. And if you have a story idea, email haltonnews at kojiko.com. Thanks for watching and have a great night.